bad boy LA star, Carry On Franklin was arrested over the weekend after a routine traffic stop. According to several press reports, Franklin was taken into custody after allegedly resisting arrest in Beverly Hills. Sources say uh, the car he was driving belongs to a woman who has been reported as missing. Oh, jeez. And authorities say there was a firearm found in the vehicle, which he says does not belong to him. These legal troubles are aside from charges he already faces back in Texas. So, ladies, what are your thoughts on all of this? Well, like he did an interview. A lot about him. Yeah, he did an interview with this guy. I believe the guy's Larry name Reed. is Larry Reed, and he's denying. Of course, he's denying. And right. he was trying to explain about the car. He thinks they found a gun in the car. He said he thinks that, that that was planted. Also, he didn't know, like, he had the car for over a year. It's a lot going on yeah. in this situation. I think the thing that sticks out most to me, obviously, is it's Kirk Franklin's son. Yeah. So, obviously, I think the first thing you would think is, like, <gasps> clutching your pearls, like, this would happen in the house of a leading god yeah. worshiper, whatever. I'm not... A, there's a lot of um, press around this because of that very reason. And I can only, like, I only wonder, like, what is the communication between this uh, Kirk Franklin and his son? This and is... If the son has a good, sturdy support to be able to run to with this family and how this will affect their business and, and, and does that put pressure on the son, you know, as he's making these type of decisions in life, you know? Yeah. Well, they have a bad relationship. When, right. Um, he, uh, when Kirk I remember Franklin, there was an audio tape with Kirk Franklin. This yeah. is his son at him, from right? uh, another woman. This is not his son from Tammy Franklin. So right. this is a son that he had when he was younger, and I don't think that they had a close relationship growing up. Right. Because um, when we tried to ask him about his son, he was adamant. He was like, I don't yeah. want to go there. Yeah. Well, so, I, I think he was being protective in that sense of his family and a private family issues. But we have heard a lot about Kirion because he... Uh, did put well, out the leaked, he yeah, did the leaked leak the call. tapes of his conversations with. So he taped his yeah. father yeah. and their conversation, which was you know volatile. And then from there, we then heard about him on the show, uh, where they were questioning his sexuality, and we discussed that. And then there also has been clips of him saying uh, that he doesn't really have that relationship with his father and his family, what whatever. And then there's this. So I just, I, I'm so concerned. I feel like all of this is a cry for help. Oh, something's wrong here. And because, you know what I mean? Like, this is a lot going on. We've yeah. seen this, the clip of him crying on Instagram. It just seems like there's clearly something going on. I am concerned for him. Uh, I don't know if he did this. Obviously, none of us do. But he was saying that he pretty much bought the car, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. He bought the car from what appeared to be the woman and her boyfriend or husband. He says she was alive when he bought the car from her and that there have been no issues. He says he's been pulled over multiple times and he's never been told that this car was stolen. He had it registered. Yeah. So uh, this, is, this is concerning. This is when the justice system has to play itself out. Yeah, yeah. So, investigate what's going know, on here. It'll yeah. be more. But we, we wish the Franklin family well. Yeah, but sure. also I want to say, when you start putting things like this on television and using reality TV, yeah. that doesn't help. Because yeah, it's like right. it's adding fuel to the fire. That's what I'm saying. I think he he has said he, he needs to heal, but I don't think going on this show probably is the best thing for him. Because now, I, I don't know, I just feel like all these eyeballs on, are on him and we're hearing about him so much. Other, it's not a good thing. But I think sometimes people do things because they need the money. Yeah. You know? Yep. And so if you need the money, you do it. You know, this is the way you can get some money. And, and the opposite can happen because it's so exposed and it's now news. There could be more resources and support that come from other ends to reach hopefully. in and help. Yeah. So hopefully in this situation, the right, if the church community is really as strong as they say they, say they are, hopefully they can come in and help this Yeah, this give situation. them some help. Every yeah. family has situations yeah. like this.